Um, hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my story pitch and I would like to talk about morning doves and why they're so visceral for Gen Z youth and where did they go? Because I don't know about you, but I have not seen many in the past few years um, or heard any. So um, I want to talk about what's happening with them, their populations, how they're affecting to, sorry, how they're reacting to climate change. I spoke with John Schultz, who did a lot of research on actually the hunting of morning doves, and later told me that he left the research because he felt um, his research that showed morning dove populations weren't really affected by hunting. Overall, he said that um, it actually led to more hunting, and so it became fairly political between his research and what was actually happening. So he decided to leave the field, which I found was very interesting, and he also told me that he suspects um, nesting seasons will change and already are um, dipping closer to September and October. And so I'm very curious what that means. I know a lot of morning doves come to southern Canada to um, breed, so I'm kind of looking into that, but also I would like to touch on the larger cultural aspects. So like I said, the coos and the vocal intonations of morning doves and just why that's so visceral for people. I know there's a lot of like TikTok testimonials and um, actually like TikTok audios where people are like, this reminds me of waking up on a sunny summer day when I'm camping um, and hopefully people in the class also agree that they're very evocative of emotions so i really want to touch on sort of like the larger importance and connection and even like nostalgia with morning doves but sort of have a baseline of like here's what's going on um, and how they're reacting to the current climate crisis